We make about 2,000 frames a year. Virtually every frame we make is made to order. Um, and it's very personal for the customer as well. They really enjoy um, the fact that a frame is being made especially for them. This is our niche in a competitive market against mainly imported frames. I need to wear glasses because I'm short-sighted. I can't see if I haven't got them on. Yes, I'm short-sighted. I'm pretty blind without them. Uh, just because my eyes are not very healthy. I'm short-sighted, so I need them. Oh, because I'm short-sighted. Without, without glasses, I can't see. Glasses. I'm glasses. Normally glasses. Glasses. We call it in India, it's like Googles. We Malaysians normally call it spec. Glasses, but I mean, if I change my frames, I just call them frames. Over here, it's specs. Glasses. It's a game of words. Um, I like the star. I like that it's thick. Um, yeah. So I was going to wear glasses to stand out, to look a little bit showy, to you know, to add something to my face. This one is because it seems normal, not extremely weird or. Just look no normal. It looks uh, nice, and uh, I think this uh, brand uh, may be popular. Uh, I like the color, the black. I like changing my glasses, like every six months. Um, I just like the logo here, but I just chose these because I like the colors. This type of fashion I saw in the Bollywood movie, like you know, it's look good. It suits me, so that's why I choose that. Do you wear glasses? They can be quite a fashion statement. Now, our means of transport have changed a lot over the years, but the old electric tram is becoming a popular choice for many cities around the world. In Adelaide, they've been operating for more than 75 years and are still a favourite with local commuters and tourists for their history and charm. Let's find out why. Good day. We're in Adelaide, South Australia, where you're on board a H-type tram and these trams were built uh, in South Australia at approximately 1927 just for the Adelaide to Glenelg tram line. These trams uh, that we're on at the moment, they come into service on December the 14th, 1929. During that first uh, trip, three couple sets departed Victoria Square, which is in the centre of Adelaide, and headed down to the Glenelg Beach, where there was approximately 10,000 people to welcome Adelaide's new tram system. Uh, the first trams to go down to Glenelg were actually numbered 351 and 2, 353 and 4, 355 and 356. Between uh, a cost of a ride in 1929 was sixpence. However, for the shilling, you could get the tram ride to Glenelg, have a swim in the enclosed swimming pool at Glenelg, and then a tram ride back into Adelaide. Now, the H-type trams that we're on at the moment were built by a company called A. Pengeli and Company, who were located at Edwardstown, South Australia. At the time, they were the most modern trams in Australia, and the first trams to have closing doors. In total, they made 30 H-type trams and they were primarily built for the Adelaide to Glenelg tram line. They were actually advertised as being as warm and as snug as your own living room in winter because of the closing doors. Now, the H-type tram actually cost approximately £7,000, which in those days, I should should imagine was a lot of money and they built 30 trams at the moment we have 15 H type trams still left in service uh, lots of them have gone on to greener pastures with two of them now still running in their original condition at St Kilda Tramway Museum to say these vehicles are still running after 75 years um, I think is a big testament to the workmanship and engineers of the 1920s